everyone. Atio is one of the major drawbacks faced by most of the e-commerce operators, especially in an Indian e-commerce ecosystem where almost 70% of the orders are being opted on cash on delivery. Today, we have Stuti Desai, who is the co-founder of Fancy Pants, which is a store for women looking to experiment with their style. She leads the marketing at Fancy Pants and believes the brand's loyalty comes from their hands-on transparent approach to Fancy Pants community. Thank you for being with us, Tuti. Anytime. It's a pleasure. The yeah. average price of the product at Fancy Pants is around 2000 What are your checkpoints for RTU? Uh, so, I mean, now, now our daily orders are almost up to 50 to 60. Okay. Uh, but what we've done is um, we've kept the processes the same since we were at a nascent stage. Mm -hmm. So it's very... Um, it's kind of like a personal approach where every person who's a cash on delivery order, they get a phone call. We tell them when they're expected to get it. We give them the amount again to be kept ready. So confirmation call is a huge step for us uh, when it comes to cutting down RTOs because it's not like we get an order that's COD and we just send it out. We look at the pin code, we see um, how much it's going to be to send it over there. Suppose um, a lot of the times, a lot of the pin codes are actually not serviceable by COD. And then I know a lot of companies like just send these out and then they come back, but you get charged for the shipping. So uh, we have quite a few processes in place where um, we do a bunch of confirmations. We check customer history before we send out any cash on delivery order. Um, and especially in this situation uh, where we are all in lockdown, we are making confirmation calls even from home or to COD orders because that's the first line of confirmation we'll get. And then before we dispatch orders, um, again, we'll be doing the same. Okay. So what kind of transactional data can be used for reducing the RTO? So same thing, like um, customer history. Then we try to basically um, um, offer as many payment methods as possible so that people are comfortable with prepayment. Um, a lot of people know how to do like Paytm, but if you ask them to pay by card, like they're lost or the OTP goes to their husband or something, you know, it's always something bizarre. But from our end, what we try to do is give as many options as possible. And again, the same um, steps are in process where we check customer history. We often call them up and tell them that COD is not available at your PIN code. Like it's not, uh, it's the logistics uh, partner that can't deliver. Mm -hmm. So would you consider paying in any other way? And um, um, very often, I think that uh, customers understand and they think they know that we are being transparent with them. Like we are also facing a challenge and we are asking them for help to just sort it out so that they can have the product. Um, and yeah, so then we, uh, sh then we switch the logistics partner and send it by someone who does service the pin code. Okay. I think UPI is kind of better because if you ask me for my card number, I just not remember within UPI. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's actually helping us a lot, especially in this time where we're offering discounts for anyone who's willing to prepay. Mm -hmm. um, so they are jumping on the idea because if you do really want it, then you might as well avail the discount. Yeah, yeah. So here's my favorite question How important is packaging for an e commerce business, especially from an RTO and reducing the cost perspective? So uh, this is another thing that we do, which is that we analyze um, how much, what we've shipped, the average weight, and then the average cost. Because um, of course, volumetric weight is a huge problem for us. Because even if it's like a very, even if I'm shipping one ring, or even if I'm shipping like these earrings, the volumetric is nothing; it's just flat. But the courier bag is so big that um, it gets counted in height and uh, width or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what we've started doing is um, we've um, started getting various sizes, and also if there is any like excess um, courier bag space, we just fold it and like uh, tape it or staple it or whatever to reduce that volumetric weight. Mm -hmm. And um, when it comes to packaging, um, packaging is so it's extremely important. And I think for um, entrepreneurs like us who um, still like to run everything on a shoestring budget and, um, you know, really try to see where the overheads are going, um, we uh, calculate packaging according to the order. So essentially if you order maybe three pieces of jewelry you get the fancy pants box that like everyone loves so they want it um otherwise we ship it with um the 
cloth bags or whatever those are other other options mm-hmm. um but again yeah packaging is super important like our courier bags the outside of it is very cute the inside tissue is all fully branded mm-hmm. so when you get the package um, you still feel like it's an experience of buying from the store yeah i love it for sight <laughs> yeah thank you so much it was a pleasure having you on board uh, thank okay. you for your perspective and time most welcome happy